Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is D, and uh, today's tarot card of the day out of the Wildwood Tarot deck is the Mirror. And this is a major arcana card. It's also, uh, the way I look at it, uh, it's a life lessons card. And uh, what the Mirror tells us is, you know, to, to look within, to look within you know, our own soul within, you know, within our eyes. Now, you know, every morning when I get up, I look in the mirror to brush my teeth and, you know, make sure I comb my hair, you know, whatever's there. All right. But a lot of times we look in that mirror and we don't, we don't really see who we are. We see the physical self. Okay. We see somebody who's probably uh, tired, you know, from, um, you know, maybe not getting enough sleep, maybe stress going on in your, in your life. But how often is it that you're able to really just look in the mirror and look at yourself? Noticing, you know, maybe the wrinkles or, you know, maybe if you're, you know, if you're a guy, you know, whether or not you've shaved or not. All right. Maybe noticing how beautiful you are or how handsome you are. Okay. Or, you know, hey, hair's getting a little bit long. Maybe I need a haircut. It's great to see that, that personal aspect of it and what this card tells you is is to actually when you look in the mirror look within the soul look within the soul and see what needs to be uh, healed see what needs to be you know brought out to help you grow to help you learn this female serpentine figure you know she holds that crystal ball in her hand almost like she's trying to prognosticate you know, what the future is, okay? But if you can go into work or you can go into a relationship, you can go into a social setting with positive attitude, and that's kind of tough with what's going on today, you know, in today's world with the, with the virus and, you know, um, you know, people getting tested and jobs shutting down, things of that nature. It could, be, it could be tough to stay positive, okay? But this is a good time to look within, within that soul, all right? And I was talking to a group earlier today, about, uh, you know, about that concept. There are opportunities right now for you to learn, for you to grow, and for you to, you know, take on maybe a new study. You still have the internet available to you. You still have YouTube available. You still have access to online learning. You know, maybe sign up to learn a language. Maybe sign up to learn how to fix cars you know, online, watch YouTube videos. If there's something, you know, maybe learn to cook. You know, there's plenty of things out there on how to do things. And now that you have that downtime, take advantage of it. I know for me, there's a couple programs that I've been signed up for for years. And I'm going to take advantage of it. If I'm, if I'm off of work, I'm going to look into the mirror and I'm going to say, you know what, I need to work on some personal development things. I need to work on some leadership skills. Sit down and read a book, all right? If you're self-quarantined or, you know, you're at home working from home or whatnot, take the opportunity to grow and learn and move forward during this time of crisis. And that's kind of what this, this mirror tells you. You know, we could sit around and be, you know, woe is me and, you know, oh my gosh, I'm not going to have a job and how am I going to pay my bills? Let the universe kind of help you with that. Throw that out to the universe because, you know what, I'm a firm believer that we can handle a lot, all right? And right now, pay, pay isn't being suffered because of this, all right? Treat it as a vacation, an in-home vacation. Maybe work on something around the house, all right? Work on yourself. That's what this card is talking about. Look within, find that, find that area where you want to learn something and, and work on that, okay? The hair on in this picture has a, a pouch hanging from its neck okay and what that tells us is you know he's the heron is kind of keeper to mysteries it's also um the heron is the 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 knight of uh, the king of vessels okay so with him being the king very wise he has a lot of wisdom around the universal um you know guide posts universal guide you know it's the spirit world Okay, psychic energy is another one. So tap into that spiritual aspect. Okay, tap into the universal aspect of 
allow me, help me during this time of crisis to stay strong, to be a leader in my family, to be a leader within my, you know, with my coworkers, okay, to be a leader within the community, okay, by being positive, okay, maybe helping other people out, okay, again, learning that language, so when you come back, or learning a skill set that's going to, you know, help you with your job even more, because who knows what's going to happen once everybody goes to work, right, um, It was only after much much searching and questing for that journey and that sleeping soul to move over to the other side. And that, that sleeping soul is is this guy right here. He's trying to get over to the to the other side of the island. All right. And you know, this is somebody who's moved on, moving to the other side. Um, you know, I don't want to see any of that happen to, to anybody, um, you know, with the, with the virus that's out there. So you need to stay protected. Wash your hands. All right. Take the opportunity to sanitize areas, you know, common areas that you touch, you know, especially your phone. Everybody's on their phone doing everything, okay? Take that opportunity to protect yourself from the virus, okay? That way when, you know, when it's all over and done with, you know, you've made it out unscathed. You come back to work with, you know, learning a new skill. Maybe you learn a new language, okay? Or, you know, maybe, you know, you found an interest in something else because, you know, life as we know it now is changing, Okay, and if we can look within that soul, look within that mirror, and, and look within your old soul and find out what that change is and how you can be positive and have a positive effect on it, if you can find what that is in your area, you're going to be a game changer. Okay, if you can find out that area where people are in need and you can make money, you're going to be a game changer. And the universe and spirit will direct you on that. Okay, it will help you manifest those dreams you know, in these, in this time of crisis. So, you know, the mirror looks at our inner, inner reflections and the, and the orb shows the shadows of our inner life. Okay. By staring into that, by meditating, okay, into your soul, you're going to see, you know, where your journey is going and where you need to progress. The key here is having patience, prudence, and trust. All right, and, and what that what I mean by that is in order to get to that island on the other side, you have to have patience. You have to have trust in the process to move you across that water, okay, as a sleeping soul, okay, to get you to the you know, let's say the promised land. It's a process of surrendering, a surrendering to spirit, a surrendering to the universal, you know, the universal guides, maybe even your ascended masters. Okay. You, by surrendering your will, okay, and looking deep within to ask spirit to guide you, you literally, by looking at yourself in the mirror, you may learn valuable insights. And that includes, you know, our dreams and visions, okay? You may not be sleeping well because of what's going on. But when you do get that sleep, your subconscious is going to tell you a direction you should go, okay? Whether, you know, you should do this or whether you should do that. The biggest thing is, is be calm, be calm and relax. Think things through. Don't get involved in the hysteria of what's going on. Know that spirit is guiding you during this time of crisis. Know the universe is guiding you during this time of crisis. I know it's tough. Trust me, I know it's, I know it's tough. Okay, I'm having a tough time dealing with it myself, but I'm trying to stay positive, trying to look for that opportunity to say to myself, is this a good time to do this? Is this a good time to do that? Okay, do I want to sit on, on this? All right. Does it make sense? Okay. Entrepreneurs look for those opportunities to, to get right, grab hold of something. And right now is a great time. It's a great time to do online learning. It's a great time to you know, look at programs out there that are different from the norm, that maybe are out of the box to help you grow your YouTube, YouTube channel, to help you grow your you know, entrepreneurial business, maybe to help you grow a website, okay? Look for those opportunities to grow and strengthen what you have and turn that into some sort of manifestation for you, okay? The only way you can start, though, instead of playing the woe is me game, is look in that mirror. Look in that mirror and ask yourself, what can I do to stay positive and manifest, manifest during this time of crisis. Don't force that issue. Let it come naturally. 
you know, let it come naturally from the soul. The soul will help guide you. It's going to align with spirit. It's going to help you on your journey as you're moving forward. Okay. Let your spirit discern where that healing begins within. And what, you know, you can heal yourself. You can heal yourself from, you know, doing tapping, uh, which, you know, uh, you know, some people do out there. You can heal yourself through meditation, through yoga, and you can do all this in the house. All right. You can do it in a nice, quiet space. If you've got, you know, your your significant other and your kids are at home, just tell them, hey, look, for 15 minutes, I want to be left alone. 20 minutes, I want to be left alone. I'm going to meditate. All right. And be that positive force within your family, within your home during this time of crisis. So let the journey begin and awaken to, to this new awareness of what the mirror has to talk about. And it's an energy that is ready to deal with the world and all the challenges that go around it. And yesterday we talked about home. Okay. You're going to be at home. Spend time with your kids. Spend time with your loved one. Look within that mirror. Have the discussions around the dinner table, you know, on how, you know, let's look at, you know, continuing schooling online. Let's look at, you know, maybe learning a culture together, you know, from our kitchen table. That way we can go on vacation there later. All right? So this is D for the Spirit's Path. I hope this makes sense for you with the mirror card. You know, look within, look within that soul to help heal you. And, you know, look for it to, you know, possibly give you insight on how to manifest things. All right? Um, this is, again, this is D for the Spirit's Path. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Hit that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel. And have a great day, everybody.